Welcome. So this is case study for security hardening for Microsoft Exchange. And this is a CIS benchmark uh, for Microsoft Exchange Server 2016. Let's take a look. So this is the title page, and this is a 66-page PDF doc, slightly old from 2015, from November, for Microsoft Exchange Server 2016. And this is the control which we have selected, control 2.5 from the document. And it says, set do not permanently delete items until the database has been backed up to true. And this is a scored control. And the profile applicability is level one for mailbox services security. So under description, it tells us this setting allows you to ensure that items are not permanently deleted until the database has been backed up. Very important control, which automatically, once you set the control, it won't allow you to delete data until the backup up to the relevant level has been taken. And under rationale, it tells us to ensure that accidentally deleted items can be recovered, they should not be permanently deleted until the database is backed up. Under audit, it tells us execute the following commandlet and ensure that retain deleted items until backup is set to true. And uh, this is um, the field, get mailbox database, and then the mailbox database name and then the property re retain deleted items until backup, which is shown in blue. The remediation. Um, to implement the recommended state, execute the following PowerShell commandlet, um, and it gives you exactly what you need to type out um, in the commandlet in remediation. And the impact. The impact of enabling this setting should be minimal. Uh, more storage space will be required until any pending items are permanently deleted. And um, and, you know, under default value, it says that this is false. So you have to set the setting so that the administrator should, cannot delete something uh, until the backup up, at that, up to that level has been taken. So this is uh, for the Microsoft Exchange server. And now you see that these controls that are suggested by DISA and CIS, these are such important controls. And by the way, these controls are totally separate from two or three other activities of, of, uh, of security. We talked about an antivirus, which prevents um, malware from entering your system, which is an available um, malware and, you know, which is a known, known malware, okay? So the antivirus has a signature file list, and if something matches the signature, it discards that data, uh, which has malware. Now, when you patch systems, um, there's a scal scan done by a vulnerability scanner, and it tells you if the patches are up to date or not, and um, it will tell you what vulnerabilities there are, and because, uh, you know, and then you, what you do is you patch the system, and these are vendor-supplied uh, patches which have to be applied to fix those vulnerabilities. And then, you know, this is security hardening, and we've talked about information security transformation program in which security hardening is the, is the most fundamental and most important step. And these are all knobs or controls which you have to twist so that the configuration setting is, is appropriate. And this hardens the system. These controls harden your system and they are separate and on top of and in addition to patching and what the antivirus will, will do for you and what the other malware controls will do for you. Thank you.